everyone, I'm Rachel. Um, I've been managing the road safety advertising campaign for the last almost 12 years. Click straight in. So, as government, we are often, very often, selling a message and a product that people don't want to buy. Understanding what the key barriers are to the purchase of this is crucial to changing the pattern and helping people get over them. For example, in road safety, we have to ask ourselves, why do people still speed? What is the barrier to get them to slow down? For the Electoral Commission, why are people not voting? And there's some good ideas around that, but we really need to understand them. Is it too hard? Is it not important? Do they think it won't make a difference? When it comes to speeders, they've always told us that they've got years of experience on the roads. They know the car. They've got a safe car. They've driven them for years. They've never, they've never crashed. And it's those other people that make mistakes. And understanding these barriers were key to us in developing our latest speed campaign mistakes. We twisted around what they've thrown at us for years. We didn't deny that they were great drivers. We accepted the fact that they'd driven the road for years and didn't question it. But we just told them in a different way that the speeds that they choose, that other people do make mistakes and the speeds they choose to travel need to allow for the mistakes that those people make and to prevent the potential errors that, and the consequences of those mistakes. The initial comments on YouTube were initial proof that we'd actually broken through some of those barriers for some of those people. And it's a long road, but we were getting there. People were starting to acknowledge that the way they were driving to road was now different, having seen that. So basically, that just summarises that we must have a clear understanding of what these barriers are before we've got any chance or any idea as to how we can go about creating a campaign to make them jump over those barriers. This will give you the key insights you need to make them reconsider their behaviour change. Understanding the audience is key. Your audience is likely to be segmented, and this has been talked about earlier, segmented in many different ways. One size does not fit all when it comes to reaching people in meaningful and relevant ways. So breaking down your audience into like segments is crucial and critical. Who are they? What moves them? What makes them tick? Different messages or different mediums are likely to work for different segments. So listen to them. What do they want to know? What do they want to hear? And how do they want to receive it? Make it easy for them. Give them opportunities to vote in ways that they're used to, ways that are easy for them to do it. This could mean offering them different different ways and different means to vote from those that traditionally happened in the past. Our younger audience, very media savvy, do everything online, very rarely get off their bums. How do we talk to them in a different way to in encourage them to do something about it? How they vote might be very different, might need to be very different from the way the bulk of the population votes. How can we make it easy for them? Test, test and test again. I can't stress this enough. Test things before they go out and test them and evaluate them once they're out there. Getting your messaging right requires dedicated research process and a dedicated budget to achieve that. We set around 5% of our advertising budget aside to do this research every year. Understanding what works and what moves audiences takes much more than guesswork, especially when you want to talk to segments in different ways. We really are our target audience. And you'd be surprised how even the smallest thing, visual or spoken, can encourage people to buy out of a message that we give them. So what's in it for them and what's the, what's the reward for them? Why should they drive slower? Or why should they vote in the next election? For road users, it's about getting from A to B safely and in one piece. What is it for, the, for potential voters? Make sure what you think they want to hear actually does work for them. Without sound research, we're merely guessing. Advertising alone will not affect mass behaviour change. So we need to work at all levels and across multiple agencies. It's about collaboration and working together, not independently of each other. Build off messages that are proven to work, rather than reinventing the wheel each time. You'll always have low-hanging fruit, and they're easy to reach by just giving them the information they need understand who they are. Social marketing and advertising can only work 
for so many people. So focus on the 80% that you can work on and forget about the extreme 20. We can waste a lot of time, money and energy trying to reach those that, we, that we're never going to reach. Be realistic about your targets and always actively work towards them. I see my time. Have a clear understanding as to when you reach them so that you know when to move on. Good things take time, as does five minutes. Gee, has it's gone really quickly. <laughs> Behaviour change does, doesn't happen overnight, but with ongoing commitment, good funding, and research-driven process, it will happen. But be very realistic about the time frames. We commenced the road safety campaign in the mid-90s, but it took you know, many, many years to change the drink driving culture, and we're only just starting to tap into that with speed. So be realistic as to how long it takes, and turn voting habits around. Patience is your friend. So in summary, gain a deep understanding of your audience. Understand what the barriers are that they face. Test everything, and then do it again. Advertising alone won't change behavior, so work across all levels and with the partners who can help you. And commit to the long term, both financially and emotionally. Thanks.